Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a special guest with an extraordinary talent of interest in the art of painting. So, without wasting any more time, welcome to Mr. Armod. Thank you, Mr. and everybody. You are welcome, Mr. Armod. All right, can you sit down now? Mr. Ahmad, how are you? I'm okay. I mean, I'm fine and thank you. <laughs> so, Ahmad, I want to ask a few questions. Okay, Mr. What is it? Can you share your background story and how you become like this? Okay, first, when I was born. Doctor, can you give my baby? Of course, miss, take and carrying your baby. Thank you, doctor. You are welcome, miss. Baby, don't cry. I am here to see your smile. In a moment your dad will visit us. Honey, thank you for giving birth to a perfect son. You are welcome. From now on you have been a father and a responsibility as a husband and a father. You too honey, you are responsible as a wife and a mother. How cute our baby is. So, what do you think to name our baby? How about our baby's name is Ahmad? Do you like it? It's okay darling. The important is that name is good. Okay. From now our baby name is Ahmad. Darling. Why Ahmad's face didn't see an expression like laughing? And he didn't look at me. I don't know. Maybe he's just a baby who doesn't know the outside world. I'm worried about him. Just wait and see how he is a future. Ahmad, what are you doing? <coughs> Look, darling, he is not a reaction to us. I'm very worried about him. Please do something about him. Just wait and see. I think it is normal for a child like other children. So don't worry about him. <laughs> Ahmad, can you stop playing around the house? <laughs> Darling, I think it is time to bring him to meet a doctor. He does a weird thing and also he can't speak like other children. Don't worry about him. He looks fine. Look. Ahmad, can you say the word father? Okay, how about say the word daddy? No son, daddy. I think he's just slow to communicate with people. After all, he was too young to understand people. Don't worry, he's fine. I hope so. Ahmad. 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 Hmm. Yes. Can you read this paragraph? I am a sorry teacher. Cough, cough, cough. Ahmad, don't you pretend to cough. Read now. I can't. Cough, cough, cough. Ahmad. How many times I told you? Be serious in class. But, but. No more excuses, you don't want to read and always give excuses so you won't read. This is the reason you don't want to read. You don't want to read because you are busy with something else. Okay. I will confiscate this book, and you will be standing outside of the class.
Hello teacher Hyla, how's your class going? Is everything good? Hello teacher Jack, my class is as usual, but... But what? One of my students failed his spelling test. Really? Which student failed his spelling test? Ahmad. He's the one that didn't concentrate in my class. Furthermore, he likes to draw during my lesson, when I'm teaching in front of the class. Oh, I see. Well, in that class too. There is one student that is good at the arts class. Who's the student that you're mentioning? The student is Ahmad. Why with him? Is he has a problem? Maybe you should check his exercise book. Now, you understand why Ahmad doesn't want to learn. He cannot stay focused in class. Maybe he's not interested in English language subject? How about other subjects? All the teachers also said the same things. Mathematics, science, and also Bahasa Melayu. Do you mind if I see all the other exercise books? Teacher Jack, can you substitute my class for today? I got some urgent meeting with my family. Can you substitute my class when I was not around? All right, if you say so. I'll substitute your class then. Teacher Jack, how is my son doing in school? Are you here because he did anything wrong? He. Maybe yes. I fill in the details later. I just want to ask. Your son. Had he done anything that seems weird? I think yes. He often is seeing playing by himself. He never invites anyone to play along with him. He likes to be all alone. Apart from that, I often talk to my son, asking about how his day going in school. But. His eye contact didn't meet mine. I think he scared me. Sometimes, he seems to be hyperactive when he's alone. He cannot stay quiet for a day. Oh, I see. And the worst thing is, he doesn't like loud noises. That makes him feeling angry. Now, I understand the whole situation. Your son had an autism spectrum disorder. Maybe you have heard of it before? I never heard of it. How my son got that type of disorder? How my son's behavior at school? Maybe you need to take a look at all of your son's exercise book. Why all of his exercise books are full of doodles and drawing? He doesn't want to learn anything? Your son didn't want to learn. But he doesn't have an interest in learning. If that's so, how was he in class? What did he do? A lot of teachers that teaching his class. All said that he's not focused in class. When your son did not pay attention in class, he will feel bored very fast. Take a look at this mathematics exercise book. Look, number one. What did your son do? Your son draws number one that looks like a match. Besides the exercise book, there is one teacher that reports about your son. When the teacher is teaching in front, all of a sudden, your son suddenly laughs without any reason. Other teachers suspect that your son got problems. Besides, all teachers complained about your son's behavior. The especially, teacher that teach English subject. Why my son behave like that? In the class, he always tries to find an excuse when a teacher asks him to read the book. But, your son can't read it. Not just that. Your son also keeps repeating words from that teacher. How about his friends? They don't help him? His classmates also didn't help him. He always got mocked by them because of his weird behavior. How I will solve the problems that my son is having? My wife and I cannot imagine if my son is going to grow like that. How is his future going to be? You don't have to worry. I will try to help your son. It's not myself alone that is going to help. Parents also need to play parts in educating their children. Thank you, teacher. You are welcome. Be careful when going back home later. Ahmad, come here. Yes. Today you cannot go back early because you have additional classes. If. 
Bus left me. How? Don't worry, I will send you back to your house when the class is over. Please be seated. Do you like colors? Okay, if you say so. Can you pick any color pencils that you like? Please follow what I wrote here. R. E. D. Dot. Good. Ahmad, you like to draw? All right, you see what in front of you. One apple plus three apples? Draw your answer correctly. Dot. Good. Follow my reading. D. O. C. Doc. T. O. Artur. Doctor. D. O. C. Doc. T. O. Artur. Doc. Tor. I. Am. A doctor. I. Am. A doctor. Good. This is a cat. Cat likes to eat fish. A cat will sleep on his mattress. Okay, please be seated. Looks like you can read well, Ahmad. Here, take back your test paper. Wow. The teacher is very pleased with your results. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Be careful when on the road later. Ahmad. Yes, Teacher Jack. Do you want to enter arts competition? Yes. <laughs>